Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to talk about how to remove cyano and pest turf algae from your reef tank. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So I'm starting to see the first signs of pests in my little nano. Uh, if we come up here we have this lovely little patch of cyano accompanied by a few little patches of turf algae. Now these are a bit of a pain but they're really not that bad to get into. Uh, you kind of see the nice little sunlit light kissing it. It's kind of those spots. Um, now we're going to start by doing a little bit of manual removal. Um, just physically getting up the clumps reduces again how much you got to fight in the tank. So I know there really isn't that much. It's one little patch. But again, that's something that we can just suck out with the water change. Now I haven't done a water change in a while in this tank. So it's probably a little bit higher in the nutrients. So that is something we will do as well to help tackle it. Now one of the big things with the turf algae, I like to physically just remove that clump and then hit it with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide because that's going to kill off the roots in the base. Um, now as a general rule, I say one mil per 10 gallons. I might go a little bit higher on this one since it's only 15 gallons, so maybe we'll hit it with two or three mils and then probably give a little water change afterwards. Um, but when we're doing the hydrogen peroxide, you want to remove what you can, um, turn off the flow and just use a syringe and just hover just over top of it and put it up. Now to start, I am going to do a little bit of manual removal just to get rid of these little clumps in the first place. And for the most part, you can usually pull off a good chunk of it. Now, sometimes they can be a little more stubborn. Um, after you do initial peroxide dose or two, it definitely does weaken it and it makes it much easier to come off for the second round. Um, I haven't done that yet, so this is kind of the first hack at it. Now, another option is to kind of do this with a water change hose. You're sucking out the little particles as you pull them off. Now with hair algae, this definitely works a lot easier. Uh, when dealing with turf algae, it can be a bit trickier to pull it off because it does have a pretty good grip on there. Now once you've got most of the easy to get stuff off, we're going to turn off the float and hit it with hydrogen peroxide. For this, I'm using good old 3% hydrogen peroxide. I'll plug the flow and then we're going to suck it up into a syringe and spot treat. Now when you do this, you're going to see a little bit of a disturbance in the water come out. And you can see that little funkiness just above it. And we're going to just spot treat wherever the algae spots are. And again, this is going to start killing it off at the base, at the roots of it, which really makes a big difference for actually ridding it from the tank. And you can see the little bubbles starting to form on it, and it's going to help break it down. Now, this might take a few treatments, but it will absolutely get rid of it. And you can see the little bubbles forming, starting to help oxidize it. And I'll generally leave the flow off for about 20 minutes or so before I turn it back on. In today's case, we're going to do a little water change and suck out some of the cyano and whatnot. So again, we'll let it sit for about 20 minutes, just to give the peroxide a bit of a chance to do its thing. Now with the water changes, again, use an excuse to suck out and manually remove as much as you can. Now with the cyano, that's obviously really easy, that comes off. The turf algae is a little more of a pain. Now again, pinch it with your finger and rip off what you can and let the water change will suck it out. That does work really well. And the first time you do this is definitely is a bit trickier because it has a pretty strong hold on the rock. But after this initial peroxide treatment, if I come back and do this again, you know, in a week or so, it should be weekend and much easier to rip off the rock. And it's always a good measure to give the sand a good vacuum periodically just to help remove any of those extra nutrients or stuff that's just help feed in the sand or the algae in the first place. It is the next day, the tank is already looking way better, but we just don't want better, we want it gone. So we're gonna hit it again. Now we are, of course, going to turn off the flow as well as the ATO, and we're gonna hit it with another dousing of hydrogen peroxide. And again, for this, we're using the 3% USP. And we're gonna put a couple mils through on the tank and just hit up all these spots just to finish. Now again, I might do this daily for a couple more days until it's completely white and dies off. So don't be afraid of a little manual work here and there. It really does go a long way. But if you do look at now, you can see it already does look to be a little bit lighter than it was yesterday. You know, it was that more darker green. And after a few days, it's gonna turn white and basically die off, which is the, the magical part of it all. And there you go. It took us, what, about a minute? We hit all our spots up and that should be good enough for today. We'll check back tomorrow and see how things are doing. All right, guys, we are about one week later and I've probably done four, maybe five treatments. Um, and if we come in here, you can see some of these chunks are turning white now. That used to be like a big, thick, dark green chunks of it. And, you know, same up here, you can see another nice bright white one. Uh, we got some of the stuff in the back. It is definitely lightened. It's not quite white yet, but it's way lighter than it was. So it is definitely dying off. So it's a very minimal effort. You know, it takes you a couple minutes, you know, every every other day type of thing. And just hit it with that 3% hydrogen peroxide. Turn off your flow for about 20 minutes. 
turn it back on, really easy process. And as you can see, it's absolutely working. And you know, a weekend, it's greatly weakened and a lot of it's already dying off. So you know, one more week of these treatments and I should be home free and clear. So if you guys learned something, if you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video.